Stick around to see how we made three kids crafts that promote self-love and they were inspired by this book. Like seriously guys, these crafts will really make you and your child feel so empowered. So I think you need to stay tuned. What a wonderful What a wonderful world. guys long time no see but it's your girl cheryl the activity author here to bring you some more book inspired crafts now before we get started you know i gotta start my usual disclaimer make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time i drop one of these bomb book inspired videos okay and also don't forget to follow me on instagram because i have more kids crafts and ideas that you will love on my page so without further ado this would not be a book inspired craft if we didn't talk about the book so today's book is called the rules of a little boss a book of self love by Haley P moon illustrated by Arcelin. Now this award-winning book is a manual to help school-aid children gain and improve self-esteem. I just love how this book has such cute illustrations and the strong down-to-earth message throughout the book is easy enough for kids to understand. And Haley even said that the tips in this book actually helped her when she was in elementary school. Wow, I love that. And guess what guys? Haley is only 13 years old. <laughs> the youth helping the youth. You gotta love it, right? I don't know what I was doing when I was 13, but I definitely wasn't publishing books and running a whole business. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> but yeah, this young lady is so impressive. And you guys can check more of her out in the description box. Oh, you know what else I love? I forgot to tell you. This is a father-daughter duo brand, meaning that Haley's dad is right alongside of her like her guardian angel. And you know I love a good father-daughter duo for obvious reasons, but <laughs> her dad, Mr. Diedrich Moon, is there to encourage his daughter and guide her along her author entrepreneur journey. Wow, Diedrich and Haley, Thank you so much for your powerful brand, encouraging our youth to believe in themselves. So you guys go ahead and drop down in the description box right now. Check out her website, her Instagram, follow her, and you will be definitely impressed with what you see. I can guarantee that. And so much merch. Oh my gosh, look at all this merch, y'all. <laughs> If you don't feel good about yourself after visiting their website, I don't know what to tell you. So you know what else will impress you? These crafts that I pulled from this book. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So everything I use is in the description box below. So check that out if you want a full list of the materials. But what led me to this craft is because I kept seeing all these rainbows in the book. I kept seeing them on like several pages and I was like, oh, we gotta make that. So all I did was take some tissue paper, folding it up into little tiny pieces and I'm just cutting a bunch of little bits of tissue paper because that's what you need to complete this. So go ahead and do that and keep the pile separate. Don't mix the colors because it'll be a little tough for your child. Also, I have some white tissue paper for the clouds. And if you don't have white tissue paper, just use cotton balls. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use both in this project. So take your cardboard and you're going to need um, just one piece, but if you're, we're gonna do two. So I'm going to actually do two pieces and we're going to cut out our rainbow. Now what you see me doing here is just kind of, you know, sketching out where the rainbows are going to change colors. It does not need to be perfect. This is just like a guideline type of thing. Um, so yeah, just make sure you have enough space for the different colors that you have um, with your tissue paper. 
Now, to me, the best way to do this with your child, especially if there are three, like my daughter or younger, just do the glue one at a time. So like glue one section, then have them do the red, then glue the second section, have them do the pink or orange, whatever colors you have, and so on and so forth. Because the way I'm doing it is foolproof. My daughter has no way of messing this up. Even as a three-year-old, her rainbow still looks very impressive. So try that tip out. Do it one at a time. So now I am doing this project with my three-year-old Kimberly, but my two-year-old crafter in training, she decided to do her own little rainbow stick on the side. Oh, this is so cute, Malia. So yeah, she did that all on her own. I just put some glue on a piece of cardboard and she designed both of these. Look how cute. And she's like, give me my stuff, mama. <laughs> she's enjoying this. So two-year-olds can even do some type of modification of this craft. So don't be afraid to let them help out as well. All right, so that's so cute though. All right, so back to the craft that we were doing. Um, now you're going to add the clouds. So like I said, you can use cotton balls. My daughter said she wanted to, to use the cotton balls, so I'm gonna let her use that. And I'm going to use the white tissue paper. So you guys just see how we do this and you decide which way you want to complete this craft. All right, so you see how I did mine with the tissue paper and my daughter did hers with the cotton ball. So you choose which way you wanna do this. None is easier than the other. They're both extremely easy. <laughs> so I would be done, but I have to be extra and I had some uh, tissue streams left over. So I want to do like a little um, more of the rainbow under the clouds. So I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna put some glue behind it and I'm going to layer these tissue paper strips and I'm going to extend the rainbow. Now this part is totally optional, you don't have to, but I think it just looks so much cuter because I actually wanna hang this rainbow somewhere in my house. And y'all look at Malia, she said, I'm gonna be involved with this craft a whole way through, mama. <laughs> All right, so now we are pretty much done. Just one more thing, you're going to attach a string to the back of it so that way you can hang it up. I just put some hot glue and I had some aluminum paper left over from the next craft that you're gonna see. So that is the final look. Ta-da! Beautiful, right? And you can hang it on door handles. You can hang it on uh, the stairs. I'm still trying to decide. I think I'm gonna hang it up in my kids' room because this is gonna be something really cute that they can look at every morning when they wake up and just remind them how powerful and unique they are. So I came up with this craft because I saw in this page, it was talking about crowns and tiaras and stuff and don't let it fall. So I was like, okay, we gonna make a crown then because I mean, that's one of the rules of being a big boss is being a king or a queen or knowing that you a king or a queen. So take you some construction paper. Let me show you an easy way to make this crown. You're gonna make like a U, you're gonna cut out like U shapes. So I just folded it in half one more time and I am just doing two, U shapes, that's all you need to do. And once you finish doing that, you will have what looks and appears to be a crown. All you gotta do is decorate it and put it together with some staples and you're done. So we wanna make this affirmation crown. So I actually had some foam sticky stickers, <laughs> foam stickers and their letters. So I put together an affirmation for my daughter and she actually said the word gorgeous. So I said, that's gonna be your affirmation. So we put that on and we added some decorations. I measured out her head and I attached this crown with staples and that was it. Super, super simple. You guys are gonna enjoy this. And my daughter was so impressed, guys. Like this was probably her favorite. No, she liked the rainbow too. I don't know, but she really liked this one. Here's a modification for the two and one year old. Take a plate, have them paint it, just like I have right here, and then you're just gonna cut out several type of triangle shapes, just like I'm doing, 
and then that'll also make a crown as well. And we got our swagged out bear modeling this one because my daughter's taking a nap. So <laughs> he looks cute. All right, y'all, let's go ahead to our last and final craft. So this craft came to me after seeing several pages of them looking in mirrors. And I was like, okay, so they want this self-love to be in a self-reflection so i figured we are going to go ahead and do a mirror for our last craft so take some cardboard and you're going to sketch out whatever shape you want your mirror to be it doesn't matter it can be a square it could be a triangle it could be a heart i'm going to do what i think is a traditional hand mirror shape but you guys can just be as creative as you want but whatever you do you're going to make two of that shape So I'm working on my second mirror shape and on the second one I am not going to cut the hole out in the middle I'm going to leave it just like a mirror shape and then I'm going to take my aluminum foil and I'm going to put it all over the second shape that doesn't have the hole cut out and then I'm going to place the hole cut out on top of that and it's going to look like a mirror just like this. You can tear that excess aluminum foil and then you are done. Some other options you can, um, before you stick the cutout uh, mirror part on top of the aluminum foil, you could also wrap it with tissue paper or construction paper. You can even paint it like I'm doing right now. And after you finish painting it, you can decorate it with jewels, sequins, whatever you have around the house and you're done. So have your child look in this mirror and say positive affirmations like I love myself, I'm beautiful, I'm strong, I'm brave. I am beautiful, I'm smart, I'm in and that is this craft hope you guys do this one and if you enjoyed what you see today definitely check me out on all my social medias don't forget to drop down in the description box to look at more information about our author and our book and definitely stay tuned and click one of these future videos so that you can see more from your girl well thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye